But Brent Vegan said earlier this week, of course you want to be playing for stuff in the month of November. With a Big Sky title in their sights, Montana State makes the trip to Flagstaff as the number three team in the land takes on Northern Arizona. And I'll tell you what, at almost 7,000 feet above sea level, you and I better be hydrated for this one, buddy. Ty Gregorak, the former Montana State defensive coordinator, Ben Creighton, Ashley Washburn coming up in just a couple minutes. Ty, with just three weeks left in the regular season, a lot to play for, not only for Montana State, but for a slew of other Big Sky programs. Yeah, Ben, October is for pretenders. November is for contenders. I can't wait to watch how the next three weeks play out. Yeah, you look at the top 10 standings in the FCS. Obviously, we're really going to keep be keeping our eye on that Sacramento State Weber State game that's going on right now. And going back before the bye week, Tommy Milan absolutely tore up the turf. A career high 273 yards on the ground against Weber State. Yeah, after that first throw, which Weber State intercepted, I really believe he played his most complete game at quarterback for Montana State. Not surprising he got that big sky offensive player of the week. And for NAU, you kind of get a complete one. 180 in terms of style of their signal callers. RJ Martinez, the defending Big Sky freshman of the year, definitely knows how to sling it. Great young talent in this league. What I've been impressed with, Ben, is his offensive line. For as much as they've thrown the football, he's only been sacked seven times. Nice job by his front. Offense will get the ball to start this one. A line drive hauled in just in front of the end zone. And that one's going to be taken to about the 25-yard line. It looks like Terrell Hayward was going to get the return there. R.J. Martinez. Play action. Pressure coming in. The ball's on the turf. How about that for a big way to start for Montana State's defense? Well, absolutely. Unbelievable start. Brody Greeby. Great job by Brody Greeby. Coming off the edge there like a ravenous Rottweiler looking for a piece of bacon, Ben. What a way to start the game. Again, this D-line for Montana State has been impressive all this season. And on the first play from scrimmage, Brody Greeby forces the fumble. And here's Tommy Malott on first and ten. And the handoff. Stopped just short of the ten-yard line. It's going to be Elijah Elliott getting the start at tailback today with Lane Sumner being week to week. Malott this time rolling to his left. And he'll scamper, spins, and he's going to get enough for a first down. Nice job by Tommy, just getting the additional yards and getting a first down. Malott under pressure, and he finds R.J. Fitzgerald. Montana State quickly on the board. Yeah, we haven't seen a ton of this this year from Montana State's offense. They're in true 22 personnel. Two backs with the fullback and R.J. Fitzgerald. Two tight ends, one receiver with Willie Patterson in motion there. Nice job. It was dived to R.J., didn't get much, set up the play-action pass, and we've said it now. I mean, R like every, every game now, honestly. Yeah, exactly. R.J. didn't have a touchdown coming into this season. Now he's got two, five or six, I think. This is an offense that hasn't really performing all that well. Here in 2022 is that one will sail to the back to the end zone. Yes. Keeping it on the ground on the first run for Northern Arizona. It's going to be Drayson Hall. Who Chris Ball has called the Energizer Bunny. He can play all different kinds of positions on that offense. Carter, as Brent Vegan has alluded to several times this season. Back to Hall. They continue to feed him. And he's going to get stopped just short of that first down marker. As in and out, they're not even set. And it looks like he's not going to get enough of that first down. And he will be stopped short before his fourth down. Great, great field position for Montana State if that would have happened. Emil Heronen able to boot this one away. And now it's going to sail into the stands. For a second, it looked like it had some good distance, but just sailed out of bounds into the stands, as I mentioned a second ago. Malat with a ton of time in the pocket. With a strike over the middle, and he's got Willie Patterson. Enough for a first down, but there is a flag on the field. Uh, touchdown receptions. He's got eight this season. Malott to the far side. Going to Elijah Elliott in the backfield for Montana State. Malott keeps it on the play fake. He'll pick up a first down. Spins from a tackle. Malott. Malott still on his feet. Tommy Malott does it again. We're going to watch the replay here, Ben, but this is all Derek Snell on the perimeter getting this block. I shouldn't say all, because a lot of that was Tommy Malott, no doubt. 
But watch Derek Snell's block on the perimeter to set Tommy, and then Tommy just does the rest with his feet. Right here, sealed. Nice job by nice job by Alston as well. Fantastic run by Tommy Mallott. It's his fifth rushing touchdown of the season. A quick 14-zip lead for the Bobcats. House call. Well, if you look at his lower half, I mean. An onside kick, but obviously not going to go far enough. But <laughs> aggressive yeah, mentality I was gonna say. right now, okay? <laughs> Stop me in my sentence. All I was going to say is if you look at Tommy's lower half, he's strong. I mean, he is a well-put-together young man. He's not a huge guy, but he's just well put together and he's got strong legs aggressive play call called there by coach vegan and it just didn't go far enough it's brutal rj martinez in the pistol here's the handoff and swallowed up by a plethora of montana state defenders to his hands third down and eight martinez over the middle and he's got a wide open target on that slant and a first down for northern arizona the theme chris ball said in our meeting with them is that they have been dealing with a lot of injuries as a whole as the pitch out to belcher and as he gets to the 25 yard line slumberjack squad since he arrived here to flagstaff martinez under pressure and that one in and out of the hands going to coleman owen his second game back quad on fourth down and sacked behind the line the ball still on the turf and it looked like it was picked up by montana state either way it's going to be a turnover on downs but once again that montana state defense you know willie mac garza has got to be loving that what he's seen out of his defense so far watch 47 here on the inside pressure that's callahan o'reilly the bozeman native great job boy you, you talk about starting fast on defense two takeaways in the first quarter ben Great job by Callahan O'Reilly. Yeah, absolutely no blocking there on Callahan O'Reilly, who just came charging in. And again, yeah, look at that smile from the defensive coordinator. Obviously embracing the hometown kid. It's great hustle play by him getting the football. As Montana State takes over on offense, Garrett Kuhn getting the handoff. First down from the 44. Back to Kuhn. Bus up the hole. A first down and even more. Garrett Kuhn getting into Northern Arizona territory. Nice job. Just inside zone. Inside zone off the split look. Great job by Kuhn. Contact there with the safety. Uh-uh. I'm going to get two more. Coming up next week. All alone in the backfield. Malott. A strike over the middle. And Robbie Alston able to hang on to that one. And you just look at the offensive line. Brent Vegan says, obviously, that's the position group that makes this offense go, is that O-line. Well, absolutely. And they've had some next man up stuff going on, too, with Cole Sane being out, Marcus Weir being out. You saw Jacob Kettles there. He's been a backup, essentially, his whole career thus far. Nice job keeping Tommy Malott protected. These fans really feel like they're on top of you if you're a player. Malott with a strike to the near side. Once again, goes to Robbie Alston. A 30-yarder for Glesner. And that one good. A 17-0 lead for Montana State. Great job by the Montana State defense so far. And another booming kick out of the end zone. Basically said, hey, he's putting the ball on the ground. Let's flip him to defense. And wrapped up from behind near the 30-yard line. As they once again go to Drayson Hall. Nice hustle play there by David Alston, the young man out of Minnesota. Chasing from inside out. Sets up third and five. Empty backfield for Martinez here on third and five. Martinez stepping up in the pocket. Trying to buy some time and just throws it. And finds a target right there for a first down. A defensive lineman for a linebacker. So when you're spying, you at least have a guy, a good athlete to make the play. Hendricks Johnson again getting into Montana State territory. This time to flip to Drayson Hall, getting to the edge and knocked out of bounds. He first arrived here to Flagstaff. Pressure coming and on the screen. That one complete to Coleman Owen. Owen bouncing to the outside and Owen turning up the turf. Touchdown, Northern Arizona. Marcus Lida booted away. 
And that will go into the end zone for a touchback. Brent Vegan said Kendrick Bailey ready short also played well in his absence. Keeping it on the ground. And pushing ahead. Elijah Elliott. And Dane Oliver there in Missoula. Malad again takes a shot. And again, too much muscle on that one. Again, looking for Willie Patterson. Fourth it, it, down. It. That one hauled in at the 35. And not going to get very far. Terrell Hayward. RJ Martinez. Quick sling. Again, gets it to Coleman Owen. You know, this is a guy, again, we mentioned it before, Big Sky Freshman of the Year last year was making his debut in that huge win over Arizona as Chase Belcher gets past midfield for a first down for the Lumberjacks. They're looking for any production whatsoever. On the give to the 49-yard line, Drayson Hall once again. Open field by Jeffrey Manning. You can see that, that number 56 pulling there. Good open field tackle there. All alone in the backfield, Martinez, quick sling out to the far side, and diving for the first down marker, Elijah Taylor. Fourth down, Martinez trying to escape, Brody Greeby once again, bringing the crunch in the backfield, and another turnover on downs by this Montana State defense. The Melstone Mauler came to play today, but he likes playing at 7,000 feet. Great play. Coach Howes fired up. Some bash bro action right there. What a day so far for Brody Greeby. Montana State offense with the football when we come back. Five wide for Tommy Mallott on third down. Showing off the arm again. Incomplete, no flag. Went deep several times already in this game. Just not able to connect on those deep balls. And that one down near the nine yard line. Hashtag Payne West fan zone. He's on the first play. RJ Martinez slings it to the far side, and that one's going to get actually dropped. Incomplete pass. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it should have been a catch. Nice job by James Campbell. Here's Jarn out there at the end. Nice play by him. Because I was going to say it looked like it was going to be a catch, at least from our vantage point. But again, hats off to James Campbell for. You just got enough of Yeah, you see the ball yep. touch the ground right there. Nice job by James. For Northern Arizona with 39 yards. Martinez with a load of time. Showing off the deep arm, and he's got a target. Coleman Owen with a big catch. Another big reception by the redshirt sophomore. Martinez plunges up the gut. And it looks like he is going to pick up a first down in... Once again, NAU will move the sticks. Montana State Northern. Well, when they give you 20 plus years, Ben, you, you got an opportunity to be the winningest head, right. head coach. A lot, a, lot, a lot of coaches don't get that long, I'll tell you that. Yeah, five trips to the FCS playoffs in his time here in Flagstaff. And Belcher again getting the carry and stopped by Callahan O'Reilly. Good wrap up, good tackle. This time the flip, bouncing it outside and a good open field tackle. Jeffrey Manning, good yep. field tackle. Martinez, and just out of the reach of his intended target. And wide right, no good. Back to Johnson. Johnson rushing up the middle. And a couple yards short of that first down marker. Gives it to Garrett Kuhn. Up the gut, and a first down for the Bobcats. Was one of the founding members of the Big Sky. They left for a while. It's good to have him back, and they only make this com conference stronger. As Willie Patterson hauled it in, but out of bounds, fourth down. Bryce Layton will punt it away for Montana State. And a good boot there. As it checks up inside the 20, and it will go to the 21. Dang good lead. Martinez. Wide open on the far side, going to Elijah Taylor again. And a crucial penalty there on Nolan Askelson. Martinez flushed out of the pocket. He wants it all. Wide open target. Hendricks Johnson, touchdown NAU as they close the gap. He, he probably just moved himself up even further. A deep threat for Northern Arizona. Last season, 
Averaged 18 yards per catch. Again, that was a play action three right. yard throw. This we know Tommy can do. Doing exactly what you called for. Using his legs and picking up the first down. Built by Best. Best is a player. He's a, he good, he's a good player. Elijah Elliott up the middle and gets to the 45. Malab rolling to his right, flips it to Derek Snell and absolutely blasted in the backfield. Because you got to go to the air here. That's exactly what Malat's doing. Lofts it up. And that one incomplete. This time trying to find Robbie Alston fourth down. Terrell Hayward will just let it bounce as that will check up between the 20 and the 25. You know, a McNeese State or a Moorhead State, play your own conference. Grayson Hall again on the screen, picks up a first down. Team or two move up or move out of the league here in the near future. That one batted down. Incomplete. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised as well. I'm with you 100% on that. It's Brody Greeby once again getting involved. He's had a solid afternoon so far. He really has. It's great. It's great. It's great to see. And I'm going to say this. I gave him a little. Uh, I gave him a little fist pump last night in the hotel, and he grew out his stash. All right. So he he looks like a blonde Magnum PI right now. And I said, Now listen, <laughs> listen to me, Tommy. If you're going to grow out that stash, you better ball tomorrow. He goes, Coach, I will. Over the middle. That one hauled in just short of the 40 by Trayson Hall. Third down and six. Empty backfield for R.J. Martinez. Has to escape pressure, flushed out of the pocket, slings it, and that one complete. Once again, Coleman Owen with a big catch and moves the sticks. Going over the century mark today. Eludes one tackle. Deep heave, and another big catch. Once again, Coleman Owen. What a day so far. Martinez, the pitch. And the double pass going back to Martinez. Touchdown, Northern Arizona. And the Lumberjacks with their first lead of the afternoon on some trickery. It on the so, mic right there. So, so Coach Ball, so Coach Ball just calmed a couple couple kids down who were getting a little hyped with the fans. Kind of faltered with a loss to Northern Colorado. That's been his message. And on the handoff, here's Elijah Elliott getting close to the 40 as we continue to wind down the second quarter. You got to just think if they had a full stable of running backs. With Isaiah Fonse, Fonse uh, Lane Sumner, Elijah Elliott, Coons playing well. Third down and six. Keeping it on the ground, Elijah Elliott trying to get every single inch he can. And he's going to get stopped just short of that first down marker to bring up fourth down. As that will end the first half. To say it again, it was really a tale of two quarters here in Flagstaff. Montana State with a strong start, taking advantage of a couple turnovers. But it is the Lumberjack offense taking a four-point lead into the locker room. 21-17 here at the walk-up Sky Dome. Big drive right here. Ben, you know what those big nasties wear up, wear up front, those shirts and hats that says run run the rhymes with spam ball it'll be interesting to see if they get back to doing that it was just wide open as tommy Malott turns the corner gets to the outside and scampers out of bounds second and four another give to elijah elliott and he'll pick up a first down nice job moving the change by elijah elliott NAU able to stop him there. Play action, Malott. He'll run again. He'll spin and get to the 45-yard line to bring up third down. Which Partridge, who is NAU's defensive coordinator, he's got this thing dialed. I would imagine there's some tendencies on that hash that they run the play action pass. He sent he sends uh, Divine Wallace off the edge there. He's got to make. Malott drops back, floats it up, another pass. And hauled in. Willie Patterson. They've gone to him a couple times, but they finally form a connection on that first down. Well, this is all Willie. This is all Willie. Great play by Willie Patterson. Ha hands in his face, hands in his chest. Good, strong catch right there by Willie Patterson. <laughs> I'm telling you, these referees are letting these guys play on the perimeter today. I mean, they're not. it's an unbalanced formation. 
means that means Derek would be ineligible for this play. Wide receiver reverse to Tommy Millad as the Bobcats pull a little trickery of their own. Up the middle, Elijah Elliott cuts back inside, getting to the outside, shoving off a defender still on his feet and runs out of bounds. That Strong man, run there. A young man's tough to get down. He had to gain weight from 175 pounds. He said, you know, I was getting banged up last season, wanted to put on more weight so I could last longer. And from this run, not only last longer, but really body up on defenders. R really, really nice, nice run by Elijah Elliott. Willie Patterson now in motion. Malott. Up the gut, Malott, second TD touchdown today on the ground and a big response from Montana State out of the locker room to retake the lead. Huge response, exactly what they needed, Ben, was not just to have a, a good drive, but sustain a long drive and then turn it into points. Fantastic job. We got a penalty on the, on the, uh, on the play, though. Uh, as, as a senior. Swift kick, keeping it on the ground. And beyond the 15-yard line, you see Brent Vegan pumped right there after that return. It's a threat. Third and seven, Martinez under pressure and just threw it in a, near an intended target. It looked like he was trying to find his tight end in Isaiah Garina. Oh, and the sky's in the air as Dowler will call for a fair catch. And the defense, I mean, the score is 24 to 21 right now. 24 to 21 is, is a win. Oh, big pop. Big, big pop. pop there. Garrett Kuhn got absolutely leveled by Sean Heyman. A lot. Showing off the arm again. Willie Patterson in and out of the hands. Incomplete. As Colby Humphrey was there to knock it away. Of course, a punt for Montana State. And now we'll bounce into the end zone for a touchback. We're going to get that momentum back. Trying to escape. On the run, fires it, far side. And that one completes. Elijah Taylor hauls it in. It's really forced him to play in the pocket and read defense is better. Just like that, finds Hendricks Johnson first down, right on cue. And Chris Ball, I believe they got a special talent here in Flagstaff. Play action. Once again, wide open Hendricks Johnson. Shakes a couple defenders, gets into Montana State territory. And wrapped up by a gang of Bobcats, but another first down for the NAU offense. Allen. They're pulling out all the stops in this one. Absolutely, and they're, they're, they're scrapping with them, Ben. They're, they're, they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with, with an outfit that, you know, hasn't lost since losing to a, a Power 5 school in Oregon State. But, you know, MSU has struggled up here. They have. Lost the last three, four out of 14. On the screen, going to Drayson Hall, and obviously that's not going to be enough for a first down. They'll bring up fourth down. Great third down stop by Callahan O'Reilly. If we see the re replay here, he's tracking him the whole time. We'll get another look. Watch 47. He gets a beat on it right now. This is a screen. Great job going back door on that lineman. Great job by Callahan O'Reilly getting a, a, a third down stop. Get him to fourth. Going to be an in interesting uh, decision here. Looks like they're going for it. Well, you saw Brody Greeby just now. He got up, but went straight down. Field. Martinez and he finds Drayson Hall another first down a big fourth down conversion for Northern Arizona Northern Arizona rolling to his right he'll keep it himself and Martinez adds on to that total touchdown Northern Arizona as the Lumberjacks go back on top Marquis Johnson elects to take it out of the end zone. Johnson cuts back inside. Johnson still on his feet. And a couple flags thrown. I, I think I think a thousand flags were thrown at the same time, Ben. <laughs> this is gonna a great return by Marquis Johnson, one of the most electrifying kick returners in all the FCS, and they're just gonna tack on another 15 here at the end. Right there. Yeah, they're going to call that one. Normally, they're standing on the sideline. They're all sitting, and you can just see how drained they are. To be honest, I'll be honest, I'm not feeling very good on the sideline either. I don't know about you guys. The elevation is no joke when you're playing football now. 
Here's Marky Johnson on the flip. Johnson pushed out of bounds. And a solid run there by Marky Johnson, even though it's technically a, a pass play. Yeah, a little jet, jet sweepish action. Nice play now. Knocking on the door. Three wide on the near side. Malott getting to the edge. And takes a bump. Gets out of bounds at around the two-yard line. A solid run by QB1. It's been an entertaining game, and I know it's definitely entertaining to work with a guy who loves it. Look at this. <laughs> well, they, they, they shouldn't be showing that on television, Ben. You're passionate, man. Fourth quarter we go. Power. The give. Up the middle, Power. reaching for the pylon, or the goal line, I should say, touchdown, Derek Snell. A-gap power, otherwise known in some circles as God's play, Ben. God's play. Beautiful. That's tough guy football right there. A big carry there by the tight end, who they've been using a couple times in that running game. Just using that power, like you said. It just reaches over the goal line. With these guys. Again into the end zone by Blake Glesner to plays to this NAU offense as they'll keep it on the ground for the first play of this drive and maybe a rush of one. I will mention that you know running back coach Jimmy Beal actually had, had a stint here. Nice. Nope. Drayson Hall escapes one tackle, getting to the outside and popped out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Yeah. Came up just short of that first down marker. They'll give it to him on the ground and. No game there. And R.J. Martinez once again under center. He'll keep it himself, trying to sneak past that first down marker, and he'll get it. Boy, that was a nice job by him. Just give, you know, that one last leg thrust because MSU's front did a nice job of initially stopping that surge. Good play by Martinez there to get the first down. Start that he had to this game. The handoff back to Drayson Hall. Spins away from a couple tackles and gets past midfield. Player. 383 yards through the air, a season high. Looks to continue that. He's got an open target. Coleman Owen once again takes it in. Back and forth we go. Coleman Owen with his second TD reception of the day. It's still the third ranked team in the country. Getting beaten right now by a team that, frankly, isn't as good. NAU is coaching and playing their butts off today. 826 total yards between these two programs. And it all started with R.J. Martinez able to run it in. He can, I was going to say, you know out in Ogden, Sacramento State, they're watching the end of this game right now. Wide open. That one complete, bouncing off a couple tackles and getting to the 40-yard line. Trayton Pickering. Pickering. Yep, Sunburst Montana, the big fella. Good to call his name tonight. Getting in on the action here in the fourth quarter. Second and five for Tommy Milan in the offense. Milan finds a window, gets to the outside, and runs out of bounds. A first down. Nice job on the split zone action that they've seen all night. Derek, gets, Derek Snell gets just enough for Tommy there. Move the chains. First down. Tommy Milan, the leading rusher today, over 100 yards. This time to Elijah Elliott, cuts up the middle. And maybe a gain of one on that rush. Right here to NAU to play with his twin brother. Second down and nine. Malott keeps it. Malott got a window and gets to the 35. Really, he's taken a couple of them every game. High snap. Elijah Elliott. It'll be interesting to see where they spot this one. It's going to be really close, and it's unfortunate for the offense for Montana State because it all started with a bad snap. Fourth down. Malad fakes the handoff, trying to get that first down, and he will. What a play by Tommy Malott. We'll see this on the replay. Watch the front. 
for NAU's defense. They're going to pinch down into a bare front. Great job by Tommy recognizing that, taking it to the perimeter. Big time play. Big time play. And I wanted to point this out. Look at the little sigh of relief from Brent Vegan. <laughs> you you kind of saw the second like that. <laughs> yeah, that little little. Hey, so, <laughs> hey sometimes you got to coach up those refs down there too. Like, no, hey, right. but they, but they're down four points. They need to score touchdowns. On the handoff, up the middle, Elijah Elliott. Does he have enough for a first down? I don't believe he does. It's but like I, a yard short. I, I, they're going to go for it. A lot. Back to Elliott. First down. It's a really nice physical run by Elijah Elliott. Again, NAU's defense. New set of downs. This time going to Garrett Kuhn. Kuhn bouncing to the outside. Look at that man fly into the red zone and stop just short of the goal line. A big run there by the former Wyoming Gatorade Player of the Year. Well, it's good split zone here out of 12 personnel. Good block downfield. Nice run. Set it up on the goal line there. And then we got another player down. It looks like it's Sean Heyman. Absolutely produced. This is this is Tommy Milan all the way right here. Watch. You got two tight ends in the game. You got your fullback, Ryan Fitzgerald, Tommy Malott. Malott. Touchdown. Touchdown. Tommy Malott punches it in and pandemonium continues here in Flagstaff as Montana State goes back on top again. I might I might be wrong. I've been wrong a lot, Ben. But this, the, the, the V with the ball at the end of the game will most likely win this game. This could be a last possession game, the way it's going right now. 38-35 to score. And it's Blake Glesner again. We'll boot this out of the end zone for a touchback. So, RJ Martinez swings it out. And cutting back inside. And eluding a couple more tackles, Drayson Hall, who's had a solid day. And spread, hurry up, a lot of screen. But the, the tackling, the tackling, big, you know, big, big hit there by Nolan. It's just that open field tackling out of Montana State secondary has been suspect, to say, to say the least. Jason Hall again, this time on the pitch. And watch this hit. Nolan Askelson delivers. Good pop by Nolan. Martinez over the middle. And we complete the chase Belcher. A ways to go as I tell my daughter Gabby we'll get there pressure comes Drayson Hall again will bring a fourth down what's funny is that I practiced for Martinez play action pressure coming lofts it up and there's a flag this is going to be P.I. Yeah, they're going to call they're going to call Ty Okada with P.I. excellent job by Martinez recognizing the pressure by Montana State's defense, Ty Okada just got a little handsy slash. I think he thought he was getting beat. I think he was getting beat and probably made the only 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 decision that he could was was holding them. You can see hands on the, on the hips though. These, these guys are, they played a lot. Oh, it's such an offensive world. It, that, that's a pick route, you know. He, he did just enough, just enough to kind of shield Okada from getting through there. In the pistol, Martinez. The handoff. Once again, Grayson Hall. Nice tackle there by Rylan Ort. Good, good to see him make that play. Hard. I believe it was the guard and the tackle there to the perimeter to add gaps. Nice Keep time to work with. Only down three. Martinez off balance throw. He's got Coleman Owen who has a couple of TD catches today. Know that this defense they're playing is reading a little bit. Screen. Pressure comes on the screen. Back to Coleman Owen. And wrapped up behind the line. For this NAU offense. This is kind of reminiscent of the Weber State game in that they need outs. Oh, and the man in motion. Montana State bringing the blitz. And did he haul it in? He did. What a catch by Coleman Owen for a first down. Another big catch. Fantastic job recognizing the pressure and getting it out in a hurry. But what a catch by this kid because Okada's hands were in his way. Now I was going to say Ty Okada had good coverage right there, but it was just able to thread it in there as that one was batted down on first and ten. Quick strike again, Coleman Owen. RJ Martinez under center. He'll try to plow ahead again. 
like he's done all afternoon. I believe they'll give it to him back. Yep. He'll pick it up. And off to Racing Hall. And it tripped up inside the 25. NAU looking for an upset on homecoming. Martinez with a strike and throws it behind his intended target at Hendricks Johnson. Martinez play action. He just gets rid of it. Fourth down. This will be about a 41 yarder. For Colin Robbins. It's got the leg. And we are tied up here in Flagstaff. Nail. Marky Johnson back to return for the Bobcats. And he will take it out of the end zone. Johnson, an absolutely leveled. Absolutely big hit delivered right there. Yeah, that was great. A lot looking to throw pocket collapsing and that one batted down incomplete. Trying to buy time. A lot stays on his feet in bounds and gets decked out of bounds. All alone in the backfield a lot. Floats it downfield, and that one hold in. Taco Dowler, a foot race, and Dowler inside the 20, the former Montana Gatorade Player of the Year, coming through again and gets the Bobcats into the red zone. Absolutely deserves a whammy! Wow! And it all started with Tommy Malat. My goodness, is that kid hard to bring down? Great job by Taco Dowler. Understanding the situation, great throw by Tommy. Unbelievable. Brent Vegan has raved about his playmaking as they hand it off. Elijah Elliott, he escapes. And look at that dude fly, Elijah Elliott. He's going to be stopped just short of the goal line. It's okay, so, so NAU loses contain. They're, they're, they're sinking, though, on, on, on Malat. Great job keeping the play alive and just keep looking at, keeping his eyes downfield. And then what a, what a finish for Taco Dowler. The young man out of Billings, Montana. Great throw. That's not easy, you know, up, looking up in those lights. Great play by him. Ballot turns the corner. Leaps for the end zone. And they're going to say he was knocked out of bounds. He's uh, He wants six. Watch this. No, I think it's a good call by the ref. It's a good call. It's a good call. Seconds. Here's what they're, they're going to center the ball, Ben, is what they're going to do. They're center the football and come in and kick a field goal. That's exactly what Tommy Malott's going to do. And they'll set up Blake Glesner for a game-winning field goal. And the only reason why they're doing that is because of the offsides. I'm telling you, they would have ran a play and, try, and tried to score the touchdown, I'm saying. The only reason why they're doing this is because of the offside penalty. Breaks off his route, and Tommy just throws a great ball on the run, being pursued. Big-time players make big-time plays, and Tommy Malott is a big-time player for this Montana State offense. A 24-yarder for Blake Glesner to give Montana State the win, and NAU will burn one of their timeouts to try to ice him. 24 yards for the win. Good hold the kick. It's good. Blake Glesner wins it for Montana State, and the Bobcats remain atop of the Big Sky standings with Sacramento State and remain undefeated in the Big Sky. Well, that guy's got to be thrilled. He never shows a ton of emotion one way or another, but I I I'll say this. What a great coaching job by C Coach Ball and his staff today. I don't I don't think anyone can tell you that that outfit right there in the Navy is even close to being as good as Montana State but they came to play today they coached hard they played hard in a lot of ways outplayed the cats I mean truly yeah I was gonna say Montana State escapes but you gotta give a ton of credit oh, to Northern Arizona. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm standing here with Tommy Malott. You know, NAU gets that field goal to tie the game, which is a minute ago. We got Willie Mack celebrating over here. You guys marched down the field. 
with a minute left to go, can you walk me through that last drive? Uh, I mean, like just like every week, uh, you know, we focus on the details. Uh, we focus on that two minute. Obviously, it's a big, uh, it's an important uh, aspect of the game. And uh, you know, Taco made a great read there and just made a play. Uh, it's not scripted, you know. I, I we were kind of struggling. Obviously, it was third, third and long there, and you know, we just had a big play there. So that's just what how football goes. It's momentum swings. It's emotional, up and down roller coaster, and. You know, we just stay calm and we compete all the way through all four quarters. You talk about struggling, but you were able to respond. You've got over 100 ground, uh, 100 yards on the ground as well as through the air. Can you just walk me through your day-to-day -day and what was working for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't know. I mean, I feel like we're going to get back and we're going to be, we're going to see a lot of things that we could have done a lot better. Um, obviously, after a bye week, you know, they had us schemed up pretty well and they, they gave us a lot of different looks than what we were expecting. Um, you know, we missed some throws. Heck, that uh, the altitude here is pretty nice. I mean, the ball just just sails here, so we had to we had to adapt to that, um, you know. And I think the second quarter was a, a really a really low low, but I think the guys, you know, they, they believe in what we're doing on offense, uh, on defense, same thing. And, and they came back out here and they competed in the third and the fourth quarter. And, and uh, I'm just really proud of everyone for sure. And the last question for me: the ability to respond has been something we've been talking about all season with this team. You guys were able to respond in a venue that's been hard for you guys to win. What'd you learn about this team today? Just resilience, resiliency. I mean, that's that's uh, that's who we are. Um, you know, detailed resiliency. That's that, those two words that I uh, describe this team with. You know, they uh, they come back every single day to practice and they work their butt off, uh, get better. You know, they watch so much film, so detailed on what the defense is going to do. Like like I said, I mean, they kind of came out here and gave us some different looks. So um, you know, obviously that's, that that uh, brings us down a little bit uh, with all the you know preparation that we have. But you know, we'll get better. Um, I just, I'm just excited we had a win for sure. Absolutely. Well, you got a lot to celebrate about. So thanks, Tommy. Ashley, appreciated. 1,023 total yards of offense today between these two clubs. And, you know, it, it, Tommy Malott said it perfectly. Resilience. That's what this Montana State team has. Well, yeah, you saw Willie Matt Garza, the defense coordinator, come up and give him a hug. If I'm him, I am saying, go to open range. Order the most expensive ribeye on the menu. That's on me. And then secondly, this this won't be beat mentality that they have was 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 on show tonight, man. I mean, they, they had every reason why they probably should have lost that game. Won't be beat. See you next week at Cal Poly, everyone.